In this video, I'm going to show you how to rearrange the tracks in the mixer in Reaper. So our project set up here with some drums, bass, guitars, and some vocals. And if we open it up in the mixer, we can see it looks the same way with our drums, bass, guitars, and vocals. So the order stays the same by default. And that's because if we right click over here, this option is on by default. Auto arrange tracks in the mixer. So if I put the bass above the drums, it's going to show up that way in the mixer. Or if we move the vocal up here, up top, it shows up that way to the left in the mixer. Again, because by default, auto arrange tracks in the mixer is turned on. And that's going to work both ways. So if I move the vocal back over here. Move the bass over here. That also changes back in the track control panel. So they line up or move together. But we don't have to do it that way. And in some situations, we don't want to. For example, in this project, it's basically the same thing, except the drums are in a folder along with the guitars and the vocals. So if we open up the mixer, it's the same in here. Here's the drum folder, here's the guitar folder. Is the vocal folder in the same order. But we might prefer to have those things to the left. And we could do that by turning off this option and moving it manually, or we'll use the option group folders to the left. And if we choose this, those folders move to the left side for drums, guitars, and vocals, with the individual tracks all on the right side. Now, in this situation, that's not perfect, as the bass track isn't part of a folder. So you might want to move the bass track with the folders. And we can't do that just by dragging it over. If I move it here, it moves back each time. Because we chose the option to group our folders to the left. But we could turn this option off or to arrange tracks in the mixer. Then we can move the bass anywhere we want. We could put it after the drums. Now we have the drums, bass, guitars, and vocals on the left side of our mixer. And if we go back to the track control panel, it's still in the same order as before, with our drums, bass, guitars, and vocals in their folders with them. And in the mixer, all the folders to the left. But let's check out another scenario. In this situation, again, it's the same project, but instead of creating folders, I created buses for the drums, guitars, and vocals. With the guitar tracks all bust to the guitar bus, the same with the drums, and the same with the vocals. So if we go to our mixer, again, it's all in the same order, but we may not want it to be. Maybe we want to put all the buses to the left, and we can't do that by choosing group folders to the left, because they're not folders. What we could do is choose the option group tracks that have receives to the left. In other words, a bus track has a receive going to it from the sends. So if we choose this, all those bus tracks move to the left, but again, our bass track is over here. If you want to move it over, again, we can't. Unless we turn off auto arrange tracks in the mixer again. Now we can move the tracks in any order we want, keeping our drums, bass, guitars, and vocals in the order we want. And again, if we go back to the track control panel, it's still in the original order. In fact, we might not want to see the buses in the track control panel. And we could hide them using the track manager. Hide the drum bus, the guitar bus, and the vocal bus from in here. Now, we don't see the buses in the track control panel, but we still see them in the mixer on the left side because we arranged them how we preferred them to be. On the left side. Now, there's one other example I want to show you. In this situation, it's the same project, but these tracks are not buses. They're submasters or leads in grouping, while these tracks are follow in grouping. So the drum track is the lead for a group, and these tracks are followers in the group. And the same thing for guitars and vocals. So we set that up as submasters for each one of our groups. So if we go to the mixer, Again, it's all in the same order. But again, we could change it 
by right clicking and we can't move the folders to the left because they're not folders or receives because they're not buses. What we can do is just do it all manually. Turn this off, leave our drums there, move our bass, move the guitar submaster, and move the vocal submaster to the left. Or we can move them on the right if you prefer. But now we have all the submasters or the tracks we want to deal with globally on the left with the other tracks over here. And again, if we go back to the track control panel, they're all set up how we want it to. Or just like with the buses, we could hide these tracks in the track control panel. Right here. Now we don't see them in the track control panel, but we still see them in the mixer. On the left side, or any place we put them. So by turning off auto arrange tracks in the mixer, we could put them in any order we want. And if we want to put them back at any point, just turn this option back on. And then go back to the same order we have over here. So that's pretty much it. That's rearranging tracks in the mixer in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.